Hey, my beautiful followers. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? It is like hot in Texas. I just came outside and uh, it's like muggy and like almost 75. I'm going to have to go change because it's like, seriously, it's like really warm. Really, really warm in Texas. Um, even though it's <coughs> middle of January, like welcome to Texas. But anyway, I came out here and it's all rainy and wet, so... So I've got like an interesting setup, but it is definitely nice. The sun is out, um, even though it rained earlier today. And I was just kind of taking it not even slow. My day has been kind of here, there, and everywhere. Great day. Uh, I am super in feminine energy. Like many of you caught my live yesterday. No, I went and I got my hair done. So I have new new hair and I'm excited it's the first time I've had long hair extensions and I'm I'm super pumped but it's actually got me in this this feminine energy where I'm like boom 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 like all over the place kind of um, a little scattered in my feminine but not a bad thing not a bad thing but interesting and so I feel like I'm like stroking my own hair and I keep like fixing it and I'm like ooh I need more makeup on right now <laughs> so I'm being super vain but I am I'm having this like I feel pretty moment even though I'm in just like yoga pants and and soon to be just like a tank top we're gonna fix the situation now because it's hot it's hot I'm gonna just like take this off because it's like really warm out here um but anyway anyway so <clears throat> I was thinking though because as I've <clears throat> told several people about my hair and I've I've talked to some family members and people people have been like well you're so pretty you don't need that you don't need that why would you go and do this I got one person who was like why would you go and do that you're so pretty as it is and I was like it's not about needing it it's about wanting it it's about wanting it and I had some interesting conversations this morning with some some friends and family that were sharing kind of things going on in their lives and relationships, some romantic, some un, very unromantic, some people sharing their love or their feelings and hoping that the other person felt the same and just all, and then, and then some people sharing with me that, you know, they're being almost forced upon in in their desires their partner is going well like no but you like this you like this and they're going no no and it's actually the same thing as somebody going like like you don't need that hair you don't need it and we do this all the time in relationships we tell people in our lives what they need how they feel all the time it was actually they think back to a lover of mine a couple years ago this was our main contention point uh, and and I actually have a bit of a trigger around one particular topic in sexuality when it comes to my personal life because this particular lover would go you enjoy this you enjoy this you enjoy this and he would go into details about oh but you get really wet and this happens and that happens and I'd be like no like like maybe my body does that but at the end of the day like I know my own feelings I know my own mind here and that's not really where my desires are and I hear this in my couples sessions all the time or even my single sessions especially with women there are men thinking oh well I'm gonna tell him like you feel this you feel this or th being told like you enjoy this and sex you enjoy this and they're like yeah not really I really don't I really don't and we and we do this in little ways just like somebody going like like you don't you shouldn't have gotten hair extensions you don't need them I like you better without them. Well, that's great, but I like me better with them. And it's not because I, I don't love myself, it's because it was just something I desired. It was something I desired. It makes me feel good in the moment. And we do that, like I said, we do this all the time in relationships. 
instead of listening to why somebody is choosing to do what they're doing in in or instead of truly listening and hearing somebody share their feelings hear hear somebody go no I love you or I don't love you or I really like this this really turns me on or this over here really doesn't turn me on instead of listening to people we like to insert our own opinions onto somebody else and go no but you do like this no you do enjoy this and the other person's going no I don't I don't and what ends up happening is it's almost it's it's a little bit of mind control over when you do it over and over and over again and it's very invalidating to that person's feelings emotions thoughts when we tell somebody else well you just need this or you don't need that or you desire this that one I it took me actually probably two years to really pull through I told you about that past lover to really pull through some things in my sex because I was like well is he right is he right and I pulled through it and after I really dug in I was like no I was right I was right the entire time but that those little drops of every single time we'd be together him inserting no you like this no you like this no you like this actually played with my head and it actually pissed me off and it was one of the reasons that we had had such disharmony at the very end of our relationship because he continued to tell me what I liked what I liked what I liked what I liked even it with me going no I don't I don't and I can tell you looking at my clients and dealing with with so many clients that men you were notorious for doing this in the bedroom you like to tell your woman what she likes but she is the only one who could tell you what what she likes I can tell you I get I get new guys in there in my office all the time and they'll be like well tell me what to do what would my woman like and I can give them like some some pointers I mean like don't scratch her her chin that's not gonna or her cheek that's not gonna be that's not her clit so no you're not gonna give her a clitoral orgasm like this but I can give her some pointers I can give some help I can do I can there are so many techniques and and things I can bring to somebody but at the end of the day I always look at my clients and go I'm not your woman I'm not your woman I can tell you that to go in and have anal sex with your woman but maybe your your woman doesn't like anal sex and she's the only one who's gonna know that and then I think you get this too but I think I think I hear it more often with women coming to me and around the bedroom going no my man tells me I like this my man is is pushing me to say no like I like this when I really don't and I'm not feeling it and I can tell you that brain builds resentment up in a relationship that's also one of the quickest ways to get your woman not to want to have sex with you is to tell her what she likes in the bedroom now you can still have conversation because it's it's beautiful thing to go okay so I thought you liked this because of I noticed this this and this changing in your body and so that gave me the signals and then she can go no I really don't like that but this piece of that really did turn me on like this piece over here and having those conversations that is a that is a difference that is a listening process and it is all about that listening we need to listen and slow down and really hear what the, our partners are telling us when it comes to sex, our relationships, just our friends and family even. This is not just even about intimate relationships. I get clients that tell me all the time what I like or don't like and then I, I quickly set them straight because they don't know me at that level to know that, to know that uh, or what I love or what I don't love or, or, or a million different things but it is about slowing the fuck down and listening and going okay if you claim to love somebody and love somebody in any level this is not just like a romantic love then you should care more about them than to tell them what they think feel desire that's not love 
love is listening and going, okay, I hear you. I hear what you're trying to tell me. We oftentimes don't want to believe, though, what our partners want to tell us, our friends want to tell us about their situations because we want their situation, we want to be able to control. We get into our ego and we, it's a very, very subtle ego game there. It's a very subtle ego game, but it is our egos going, no, I want you to like this. I want you to enjoy this. I want you to have the same feelings about this as I do. Uh, because we, we fear the loss of if that other person doesn't connect in the same way. Uh, and then also in the bedroom, we like to feel like we can control people. We like to feel like we know, know somebody. But the best way to really know somebody and really get to, get to that next level with them and to really open up the relationship, and I mean opening up the relationship from a heart-centered place, is to just fucking listen to what they're trying to tell us. And then maybe ask questions, maybe get a little curious, that's fine. But to really listen and go, why are they telling me this? What are they trying to share with me here? You know, and, and just really listening, really listening and holding space for those in our lives. That's how we build love. That's how we continue to, to learn somebody and truly learn them, not learn them in the way we want to learn them, but truly learn them and hear their boundaries and hear their desires uh, and take them for what they what what they present like maybe maybe that changes down the road especially in the bedroom um and and that will actually that listening that just accepting whatever that person is sharing wherever they are maybe you're like yeah I don't believe that but guess what that's theirs to 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 hold that's theirs to share that's theirs to experience uh, so actually I was talking to somebody yesterday and um, it was a beautiful woman and she was she was sharing with me that she's starting dating women for the first time and she's like like she was almost whispering it to me I was like I don't care I'm like you go girl you go like if that's if that's a turn on to you right now then you go and I'm hearing that you're wanting love I'm hearing that you want more attention I'm hearing that you want more more presence than your man is giving you and that's a beautiful thing like go and explore go enjoy and just I sat in a place of just listening and hearing her hearing her share her 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 truth and I was like, you go, girl. You go, girl. You do whatever you need to do for you. And if this relationship over here, uh, this new kind of relationship is feeling good, then you go. You go. And that's just a level of acceptance. And that's allowing the people around us to let, it, let them grow and let them expand and let them try new things. I promise you, uh, you will build a deeper connection with somebody that you're just allowing to grow and that also goes for their physical appearance I don't care if somebody tells you oh I'm gonna go shave my head bald you know I have long hair and I'm now I'm gonna go shave my head bald well if that feels good to them then who are you to tell them that they shouldn't like who are you to tell somebody else what to do with their life and we we really do we bond with people we love people we we keep people around in our lives that accept us for who we are and allow us to just be us so I ask you before you criticize somebody before you tell them what they think before you tell them what they feel I ask you to slow your roll and really just listen take the time to listen and really feel that other person before you before you step into your ego on that so Okay, guys, I am going to let you go. For those of you in the DFW area, I have a few more spots left for the Tantra Reboot going on this weekend with the beautiful and wonderful Kendall Williams. Um, so we are doing that together in Plano. So if you're in the area, get your ass on the list. It's an amazing workshop. I love doing this workshop. It's the fourth year in a row that we're doing this. Um, and then also Tuesday, I have my Aphrodite Sisterhood Circles of Passion Play and Embodiment. We're going to have a great time. It's a free event. So if you're in the DFW area, those are for you. If you are not in the DFW area, I still got your back. Still got your back. I have my Solo Tantra three-day global course. It's a three-day event. 
we're gonna dive deep into some tantric techniques that is for the person who who wants to learn Tantra by themselves I don't care if you have a partner if you don't have a partner it's all about self this Tantra course and it is going to help you with your relationships but Tantra first and foremost is a solo practice and then we can expand it out we have to connect with self before we can expand that shit out so join me for that course that is hap- starts on the 22nd of January so get on the list for that already the list is already filling up for that course um, I'm super excited other than that if you want one-on-one coaching any have any questions, comments, then please reach out to me at addisonbuild.net. Other than that, hit the share button. Help me get my <coughs> my message out there and help me um, really make an impact with these videos. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow for another Addison Unleashed. Love you.